Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for coming to my channel. It's Wendy with Wendy's Paper Junk. And I was crafting something here. And I'm like, oh my, I'm going to film it, of course. Um, so, in case I do something amazing, I catch it on camera. <laughs> you know how that goes. Okay, I have a craft envelope. And this will work with any envelope. I was trying to see where uh, my other... I was going to get another one out so you guys can hold on here. <clears throat> okay. So, <clears throat> what I did, this is just a large envelope. Whatever size, you know, it's going to, whatever size you have. Okay. So, what I did was I opened it up where the opening is. Okay. I glued. Okay. I got my sheet of paper that's big enough to cover the envelope okay and uh what i did i put glue on the flap the flap part and all of this don't put it in here and that okay because you're gonna cut this side so you have a full pocket so just glue here the whole flap and then the front of you know this envelope here leaving this don't put no glue there okay so then you just turn it around and lay it on the back side of your paper whatever paper you have so what I did was I, I pressed it down glued it down of course I have glue everywhere okay so now this is what you have I cut oh and I trimmed out the paper I should have filmed it while I was starting this, but, you know, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Alright, so we got this glued down. I am going to refold, um, refold the flap. And I use my bone, bone folder to make sure the crease stays in there. Because I do not want it to mess up. All right, let's put All right, so you should have something like this. Okay? Now, what we're going to do on this side here, you are going to cut. Use your paper cutters, use scissors, whatever. You're going to cut. Here, let's turn that side. A, when I say a slither, I mean a slither. <laughs> See how much I cut off? Alright, enough to where your envelope opens on that side. Okay? So, you have this, and then you have this fun opening here. Okay, and it's not glued down in there where you weren't supposed to <laughs> do that. All right, so da, da, da. now this is where you can decide. Well, we can decide that later. All right, I have let's see, one, I have two sheets of paper. I might add a couple more. I have some notebook paper too. I think I might. I do it this way. Well, actually, if I half it, hold on. We'll half it. This way the whole paper all right so what I will do you can arrange your papers however you want there is no rhyme or reason however you want to do it so basically I am gonna have four I have this, 
this and I will probably do that. Okay, just to have a little extra, extra paper. All right, and I'll probably do it like that. All right. So I have Mm. I want to stick them in here. Okay, so you guys see what I did. I just I had two sheets of notebook paper, sliced it in half, and then this way it kind of gives it a little dimen you know, different dimensions. And then you still have your center. And you can always all right, maybe I will put the last, I have one more sheet out, so, and you know what, I will just fold it sideways. There we go. I'm trying to see which way I like it best. Okay, so once you get your papers done, I don't even know how many that was. So it's, I did one, two, three notebook pages and two other pages, okay? So whatever size you need to fit your envelope, okay? So here's your envelope. So whatever your size you need to have a border, all the way around okay so what I do is put um right there okay so this is where oh and then here is my sorry I'm putting a a doily on the back I will probably think I'm going to glue that. So, all right. So, if you want to do a three hole pamphlet stitch, all right, or if you sew, you can mis machine stitch it right down the center. If you have a long enough stapler, you can staple it into the spine, okay? So however way you want to do that, do it. I am going to use my sewing machine because like I said, it's only what, five pages and I'm going to stick them right in there. So I'll be right back. Okay, I have it sewn in. That was quick, wasn't it? Okay, I just machine stitched it in because like I said, it wasn't that, I only had a few, um, a few pages. Which is, that's the point of this. And then I have this doily. I am going to glue. I'm going to just, the center. With my train, tr uh, trusty glue stick here. I can see I'm going to glue the back. This is, um, I might do a little Mod Podge on just to Kind of strengthen I don't know I don't think we'll see
And that's pretty good, except I do have some. I think if I let the just enough to let the edges dry. Oh, that was more than I wanted. We'll see what it does. I just want to not to tear. All right, you guys see, I just did the back like that, okay? Um, I could put a little here, yeah, and here. We'll see here if it will soak in some. Just want it to um, be a little bit more sturdy. Not that this is an. I mean, this is something that's either can be happy mail or it can go into your into a journal, which is what this one is going into. This is an ephemera journal. I guess you can say it's gonna go in. All right, so basically, I just went ahead and did it. I can always make another one if this doesn't turn out. I wanted the edges to come over, so that would, that's what it's doing. So, now, I am just going to let this dry, and then we'll go from there. So, now, wh while you're waiting for it to dry, you can decide if you want to like do a little cutout so you can know it's a pocket or not or um i'm gonna put extra papers back here so all right i will come back as soon as this is dry <laughs> okay it's dry and i was inking kind of make it so that's the back and I stuck a little uh, a little brooch I know it's kind of dark right now but I can't help it the weather is just I don't know weird weird okay so kind of just wanna okay so now I need a for the pocket, we need to glue a piece of ribbon or something that's going to wrap around this. So, let's see. I think this is too short. Where's my ribbons? <sighs> let's see. Let's go with a, let's go with the cream colored. Okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> Alright. So, I was going to attach it here. And then, um, I guess I could. I mean, it's not like, let's see. I kind of just want that. If I attach it there, then it can. Hmm. Questions, questions, questions. Well, all right. Let's try it. I, I'm telling you, I 
I struggle with closures. It's just trying to um, find uh, the right way to get something to close seems to uh, um, <laughs> seems to just hide from me for some reason. Okay. I'm going to have to stabilize the back side of this. I know. But let's see if I can get Let's see if I can hide. Well, maybe I won't hide it. I'll just let it sit out there like that. That'll be cute. Okay, so I can just wrap it around Well, I could do it that way, or I can, <sighs> okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to just wrap it around if I can get this to work. Hmm. I don't like it. I don't like it. So, well, maybe I can, all right, I think it's just going to be a tie because I'm not feeling anything else here. Plus, I don't want to overwhelm that front. Okay, so here and then I need another piece let's see I think I will get out my super duper tea <laughs> That is like crazy. It does not come off. Let's put it that way. So I will put the whole length on that tape. Okay. And then before I press, I got to make sure that sucker is Okay, so now I have a tie, which that's better. How, how cute. There we go. Okay. And you could decorate more on the back or embellish more on the back. Okay, so... You open it up, and then we have something I need to put there, which I think I have. I made a mess when I was cleaning stuff here, because I was looking for something. Alright, I need to cut and cut. This is just to hide. That works. Wow. It's just coming together, isn't it? Okay. And I have <laughs> glue issues again. Come on. Oops. Okay. I want the whole thing soaked. Okay. And that. We'll go over. Alright, so I put. Oh, here, let's see. I put a little lace 
there. Of course, we're gonna need that to dry. All right, so then we have some papers. And papers, and papers. Okay, and then we have the back. And then we have a pocket, which I need to put stuff in, but let's make sure that dries. And then I have some Let's see. I don't know how wide I need. Nope, there we go. There's one. Oh, I know this ain't gonna fit. It's too long. But, oh, wait. It does! Who knew? Okay. Well, it's a little big. But that's okay. Then you know, they'll know it's there. Some additional writing paper. I could tear. No, I'm going to leave it alone. All right. So this is my little scrappy journal that goes into my big journal. Um out of an envelope and you have um, a pocket so I like this this turned out really cute I'm I'm gonna tie it here in a minute I'm just kind of waiting for this to dry so what do you guys think here we go kind of a little plain Jane but I think that it's it's a nice little piece out of an envelope <laughs> all right like subscribe share i know this was just a quick little all over the place kind of thing but i really wanted to i like the textures i guess you could say anyway okay that's it talk to you soon bye